Hey, Uncle Mark here in the Mothership. Three string cigar box guitar. This is Pink Floyd. This is uh, Brain Damage and Eclipse. And so I'm gonna, I did a video of this and I don't know if you've seen that, but if you do, take a look at that video. And uh, this is more a intermediate lesson. You beginners should surely give it a try, but this is a, a more intermediate lesson. So uh, let me go through and play some of this, and then I'll show you how I break it all down. So here we go. And I'll, I'm using my Roland Cube, and I'll show you those settings at the end of the video as well. So be prepared for that. Paper holds their folded faces to the floor And every day the paper boy brings more And if the dam breaks open many years too soon So what do we got going on? G, D, G, 42, 34, 24, those are the gauges. Open G at the nut. G sharp A, B flat B, C, C sharp D, D sharp E, F, F sharp G, G sharp A, B flat B, C, C sharp D, etc., etc. So the song is in D. But I want to play D a different way. So, you've seen me play this shape before, this G shape, where I'm on that G, and I'm also on that D and on that D. So it's D, G, D, and this would look like 7, 5, 7. There's also another way to play a G, and it's D, G, and B. Okay? That's the shape, and it for G, it would look like seven, five, four, okay? I'm gonna take that shape and move it. So G, G sharp, A, B flat, B, C, C sharp, and D. All right, so 14, 12, 11. So that is an A, a D, and an F sharp. And you could play this with a pick. I'm just using my fingers. I'll grab a, uh, well, I'll grab an Uncle Mark pick. Yeah, grab an Uncle Mark pick. So you can play it with a pick. So if you're playing with a pick, strum through and then D string, G string. And that's how you would do it with a pick. So, you're picking with your fingers or your pick, and the two shapes you have to do, you take this first finger and move it there. In, the, in real life, it is a D and a G7. 
but that doesn't work in my position here. So I just move my finger there and get a So that's how I make that to there and to here. So it's really da, 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 da. So your hand is already here. So that's what you're doing. It's just moving that finger down. So you're going from 14, 12, 11 to 14, 12, 10. Then you take this 14, 12, 11, which is the D shape, and you are going to come up to E. D, D sharp, E. So now it's going to look like 16, 14, 13. And now you're going to play an A7. And that's going to look like 14, 14, 12. And to get the rest of this, you're going to have to move back to 7 with your third finger here on the E. So, again, D. D with that F. D, slide up two frets to E. And then A7. has to resolve. And that's where I get that So I just come up to that G and then make my shape again. The chords are really easy. There's that shape again we were talking about, the 7-5-7. Seven, and if the dam breaks open, you're going to come up to A. Many years too soon. Play a C, 5th fret. If there is no room upon the hill. Now we're back to G. And if the head explodes, A, dark foreboding too. I'll see you on the dark side of the moon. G, A, D. That's really how this whole thing goes. I fool around with some slide because I have a looper and I kind of just play around and hit some notes that I know work. That I know works, that I know works, that I know works. And that's what I do is just kind of slide around with notes that sound okay. But that's the basic gist of this entire song. So just remember the shape and start fooling around with this shape. It's really a fun shape to fool around with. This uh, D where it's an A, D, F sharp. It's a really, really fun shape. All right, so Eclipse. Super easy. D, 7th fret. D7. So that's a 7-7-5-D7. Seven, seven, seven. G. A. So it's all that you touch. D7. All that you feel. All that you find. Da -da 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 -da. D seven, D seven, G G G E or A D D D D seven G G G A A A and it just keeps going on and on D D seven. just it's a circle and you just keep spouting out lyrics it's absolutely fantastic the uh, playing with a pick and I 
I do a lot of these and I'm always coming back to that that note and it's not a root but I really like that that a ringing out So that is the, the whole thing, folks. That is the whole thing. This is Uncle Mark in the Mothership. I do have a companion video for this. Please take a look at that. Also, thank you so much for all your generous donations. Really, really appreciate it. It's, it's a tough time for everybody, and I get it. I do have a PayPal link here down below. It's paypal.me forward slash Uncle Mark Tips. Thank you so much. A buck a show is all we ask. Really appreciate all your donations. I do have a Facebook page, and it's uh, Cigar BX Blue. Take a look at that, because I'm posting some old stuff, too, that, that I haven't put out there in a long time, and just posting some old videos and things that make me feel happy, and uh, that's kind of what we have to do in these, in these troubled times. We need to make ourselves feel happy. So, uh, also, I'm going to show you my uh, settings. So, what I'm using, the effect, you can see both of my effects lights are on. I'm using some delay, and I'm using some flanger. So, a flange is basically a, uh, as opposed to a swirly sound, it's more a helicopter takeoff sound. And as you apply more flange, you'll see what I mean by the uh, helicopter takeoff. Uh, delay, I'm at about half, but you could use a little more. I'm really minimal on gain. Tone is dimed. You know, you can, you can take a gander at that. I do love my X-Vive. Um, these little guys, people have been asking about these little puppies. I really, really do like them. They're, they're fantastic. I've really put them through the paces. I've had them for over a year now, and I'm just sold on them. If I, if I lost these or they broke, I would buy another pair tomorrow. Uh, I feel that they're that necessary. Uh, maybe not tomorrow, but you know what I'm saying. Thank you so much for everything you do for me. I really do appreciate it, and uh, coming at you soon.